difference between a consequence and a punishment. Punishment is to get the child to feel bad about what they did. Well, we feel bad about what we do because we have a conscience. It comes from the inside out. Punishment makes them hurt from the outside in. It's the exact opposite. So let's say somebody decides to spank a child. You know, well, the child will put a little grin on their face when they have been abused because we just gave them this much pain. They had this much pain as a little one. And they say, I can take that much that you dished out and anything else you can dish out, no problem. But we just aligned with the people who abused them in the first place. If we punish them by sending them to bed without supper, they say, well, this much hunger? I had that much hunger as an infant. I went hours without food, which is equal to days without food as an adult. So they say, I can take that and anything else you can dish out. But I can't trust you because you betrayed me just as I was betrayed in the first place. So we don't try to get our children to suffer, to help them to move forward away from their inappropriate behaviors. Some of the consequences I have the children do are rub lotion on my feet, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. They sit on the couch, I sit on the couch, I read them a story, they rub lotion on my feet, we both have a great time. Sometimes they're all agitated, I have them go jump on the mini tramp. That's a lot of fun. But it helps them to shift gears get some of that oxygen going in the brain, get some moving back on track. When we try to hurt children who have already been hurt too much, it'll backfire every time. So people think, oh, the child's not suffering. We've got to, he doesn't care. We've got to put more pain on there to make the child care. No, they've already gotten too much pain, and that's how they got in this position. So parenting our children is very different from parenting normal children. You know, they say, spare the rod and spoil the child. I looked through the whole book, and I didn't find that in there anywhere. And the rod that they carried was a shepherd's rod that he used to protect his sheep. They didn't beat their sheep, you know. They might pull them up out of a... a you know, rock hole they've fallen in by the hook, you know, lift them up. They might beat a wolf that's trying to, but they didn't beat their sheep. And we certainly need to provide structure and the consequence of, um, you know, not putting your coat on. Now, if it's a two-year-old, of course, we're going to help them put their coat on. But if they're five or six or ten, they decide not to put their coat on, there's a consequence to that. It's cold. They're uncomfortable. So there are consequences. If they don't get their schoolwork done, well, you're probably not going to have as much time to watch the TV tonight. You know, We don't use TV in our home, but a lot of families do. But you wouldn't have as much time to do whatever their activity would be. So that's the natural consequence to that. You know, I'm sorry you're still making your bed. You know? <laughs> and you know, we're all having a great day. Hope you join us soon. So there's a consequence to that without having to say, OK, you didn't make your bed, so we're going to smack you. When they're stuck, we give them a little space to get unstuck.